This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Tuesday, the uh, 2nd of May. 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Dow's down 155 at 33,896. Remember, we were talking about this going into this Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone, leg E, but the, the technicals were not that good, except that the nine period moving average was still very strong. So we're looking at this and saying we need a couple of days to see whether or not that weakness will continue that we're seeing right now because the S&P also right now is down 17 points at uh, 41.49. Remember, in the Chapman methodology, I'll be talking about this in great detail on my webinar tomorrow uh, at 4 o'clock Eastern Time. For subscribers, you can uh, sign up, go to the front page of TFNN. What we're looking at is in the Chapman method methodology, there's, there's never an H. You can go A, B, peak A, B, C, D, E, F, G. But when you get uh, to a peak above that, you've got to consider this is recycled to the upside. It's a moment where you're going to make a decision. My decision was that there is some weakness here. And in the very short term, we should see a pullback from this doji candle in the S&P right at the inside track repellent zone. The QQQ, same thing. The QQQs are down just a little bit, down 63 cents. At 321.50, slightly different picture here. This could be considered a, a leg E. We're going to be watching closely. Both the S&P and the, uh, the Qs have got a, a doji candle. IWM has been very weak. Weak again today. But the gold, this is going to be what we're watching closely. Gold is up 11. The dollar tried to rally, <clears throat> pull back a little bit, and now has gone even higher to up 20 ticks at 102.32. The 102.78 would be the, uh, uh, sorry, 102.47 would be the next resistance. And this rally in the dollar might affect the uh, the market. Crude oil is uh, down sharply, down 2.50 at 73.13. Uh, TLT, that's the bonds. Bonds are up again, uh, up $1.63 at 104.75 at a very sharp pullback yesterday. Just stuck in the range. I've been talking about that for a long time. I'll talk more about it when we get back to the Tiger Technicians Hour coming up. And don't forget my opening call daily newsletter. See you in a few moments for the Tiger Technicians Hour.